It's one of my favorite times of the year, the holidays, because I love decorating for the holidays, baking, all of it that goes shopping, all of it that goes into it. But I'm here with Jesse at Tonkadale, and we are going to decorate a tree. Jesse, my kids are older now. Um, my mm -hmm. youngest is right around nine years old, and I feel like it's time for me to have a grown-up tree, like the tree in my living room that's kind of for me. And you're going to help me learn how to make it beautiful. Exactly. Yes. Um, so there are a few basic things you should know about decorating a Christmas tree. Right here we have a permanent pre-lit tree, so we don't have to worry about lights. And we were just talking earlier that it's white lights mandatory, correct? Mm -hmm. It's the prettiest, it's the brightest, the LED lights are awesome. So the general rule is, is you want 100 lights per foot of tree. 100 lights per foot of tree. I have never known that, so that is a yes, really great rule of thumb. Very important. However, it's sometimes a good idea to double that. <laughs> more is more <laughs> when it comes to lights, okay? But I usually run short with just 100 lights per tree, but for the basic tree, 100 lights should do it. And when you're lighting your tree, um, I always start from the bottom, but you want to wrap in and out mm -hmm. on the branches. So you can't see the cords, first of all, and so you get a lot of light. You have to hide the cords. I can't throughout. stand, I don't want to see any cords. Okay, so that, <laughs> I just, we need, that's a public service announcement, yeah. so people understand about lighting yes. the tree. <laughs> yes. This is not the place for my macaroni noodle ornaments. We're no, talking- No, popsicle sticks. No. No. It's all not. pretty, all the time, yeah. right? Okay. Right. So, um, one thing you can do is you can go out and buy all new stuff, but that can add up pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe you have some special ornaments. Maybe you were given, gifted um, a series of ornaments that kind of go together. And you're like, I love these. They're really special to me. Mm -hmm. I want to base a theme on them. So um, I thought the, this is really cute. It's Joy to the World with a map. And the, um, it's a different color than just your red and green. So we're going to do kind of a minty green and gold I with some that. blue accents but maybe we kind of base our tree theme on this okay. ornament so we'll add that at the end but this is kind of our inspiration and we'll go from there all right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make some picks and these are just bundles of stuff that we're going to shove in the tree and attach to the tree okay and it's really easy so we've picked out kind of our elements and we have two we're going to make two styles we're going to make some wowies with some ribbon attached mm -hmm. and then we're just going to make some basic ones so this is um, a permanent stem. It's like seeded eucalyptus. You, if you're decorating closer to the holidays, you could buy fresh bundles of seeded eucalyptus and add it at the end. It's really, um, really pretty. So that would be cool. We have a gold berry. Okay. And then this is just some permanent um, blueberry juniper. So you're gonna have that. I have the same elements, except for I have two blueberry junipers and I'm going to add ribbon to mine. So we kind of, just kind of bundle them. Bundle yeah. them together. So it's these three elements. I like how it's the the gold, so sort of pretty ornamental, but yeah. then you have this natural yeah. thing that kind of balances we it. We kind of want it to be a little bit botanically mm -hmm. based so it doesn't mm -hmm. look too glitzy yes. or too... Too flashy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And then our favorite zip. tool or accessory are zip ties. So we're gonna use these quite heavily throughout the tree. And um, I love myself as, a zip tie. Also known as electrical <laughs> ties, people. Okay. You can buy them in, at the hardware store. You know, there's a right and a wrong way to zip tie. You wanna hear that zippy zip sound. So we're just gonna do this. Like, so do I just attach it sort of at the base of where yeah. the decoration is okay. above the stem? Yeah, we okay. don't have to worry about any of this. Okay. And can I, Maybe you'll tell me this later, but could I use these year after year? So you talked about fresh, but if I buy, right. if I invest in these permanent stems and I'm yes. going to maybe be able to use them every year? Yeah, you can use these every year. Okay. Good. So really, we just did our bundles. So I like to use um, a wire cutter to just snip off that tail. Okay. So I'll let you do that. And then I'm going to jazz mine up a little bit more. So I have this really cool gold what is that like twine no not twine um, like wired um, wired wired vine yeah, yes okay. so i have three strands here three strands. <laughs> <laughs> and what i'm gonna do is kind of create what i would call like a bow. a bow so that's ready why don't you hold that for me okay 
down and hold this. Yeah. And then we have some, this is kind of like a shiny burlap ribbon. So we pinch at a length where we're going to have a tail. And then we um, create one loop up. And this is double-sided ribbon, so we don't have to worry about turning it or flipping it. Mm -hmm. And then we can do one loop down and we pinch in the middle. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people try to make bows, and I know this trick because you already taught it to me and I love it, but they actually try to like tie a bow. And when you make these loops and pinch in the middle, it makes yeah. the most beautiful bow. Right, so we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna use wire to attach mm -hmm. it and everything. So then we just make an equally long tail on the other side, or you can vary the lengths. It's not too... Uh, and you can adjust after, like cut. Yeah. We can the adjust ends after. to how we want them. Yes. And then, kind of our secret weapon in bow making is the wire. taped wire. Taped wire, okay. And we just go around the middle, and we we pull our loops one way, and we twist our wire the other way. So let me see. Okay, so basically, this is where we were pinching the whole time, yep. and we've just attached the wire then in the middle. You got it. Yeah. So then, if you could hand me all this. This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. This is going to be an aggressively decorated tree, but it's going to be pretty. So then um, we're just going to attach our bow and our twisty vine with the wire, just like that. And make sure to twist it tight. We can use this wire to attach our hunk to the tree. Okay. So it's kind of got a dual purpose. So there's our pick. So this is one. How many of these do you think we're going to make for this tree? I prepared six, okay. um, but it kind of depends on where you're viewing your tree from. If you're going to view it from all sides, you know, you probably would use more. Mm -hmm. okay. If you're just viewing it from one side, maybe less. Okay. But I prepared six like this and six um, like this. So is this all staying or am I trimming any of this vinyl? This is staying. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, um, we have a ladder. Okay. I'm going to climb the ladder now. Perfect. <laughs> so we have additional picks here that you can hand me when, when we need them. Okay. We'll start at the top, and you tell me how it looks from here. We'll just kind of, see, so remember we had this wire from the bow, so we can use that to attach it to the tree. So just gotta find a suitable branch. And I'm gonna twist it around. So what I would do is kind of place my larger picks first, mm -hmm. and I might do a pattern like one, to kind of just stagger them down. So Got I might it. do that first and then fill in with the smaller ones. Okay. But don't you love how this twisty vine kind of just gives it some life? Jesse, once we got all of our natural elements placed just so, how we wanted them, we put the icing on the cake and added ornaments. We didn't really need that many. No, just a few. And I like the way these ornaments are sort of in the same color hue. I think people often go with those traditional red and green or two different, really okay. different colors. Yeah. But these are just shades and it makes such a soft effect. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to decorate my own tree now. All right. Thanks for showing me all of this. You're welcome. Can I come back again? Sure, anytime. All right. That's our show for today. Thanks for joining us.